Since leaving Wham! in 1986, today's rock profile guest has become one of the biggest solo artists in the world. He's recording some brand new material here at uh, Abbey Road Studios in London. He's a little bit older, but he hasn't lost the faith, and he's invited us along to listen without prejudice. Because I gotta have faith. Can you tell us a bit more about some of the material that you're recording here today? The new album uh, has been a, a very cathartic experience for me. Um, uh, the songs that I've been recording are very confessional. Right, similar to uh, Outside, uh, Fast Love. That's right, that's very right. And, and, and my new single, Finger of Fudge, is very much in that tradition. It's about a very painful moment in my life. Right, what was that? No, I, I, I really don't feel I can talk to you about it. It's something I prefer to express through music, in my music. A lifetime of regret A crime I can't forget A mother's tears, a father's pain Little boy in trouble again I did not mean to steal But I wanted something to eat And a finger of fudge Was just enough To give this kid a treat I'm sorry, Mr. Patel So sorry, Mr. Patel Oh, forgive me Mr. Potato, release me, Mr. Potato. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. I can do with being a bit smoother, though. You know? A bit darker. A bit richer. Also, it's got too much sugar in it. There's this image of you, um, George, as a very, as a very private person. Uh, this is true. Um, I mean, things like this, I'm not very comfortable. In fact, I've never been on television before. This is my very first time. Right. Um, Obviously, on... part, I saw you on the Parkinson show, though. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I did Parky. Obviously, I mean, you don't turn down Parky. Um, but, I mean, apart from but that, I can't But there was also the, the, the South Bank see... show. Yeah, they, they made a, a, a South Bank show film, and uh, I... And weren't you on late lunch it, as well? Yeah, I did late lunch, but I was cooking on that. I wasn't talking much. They had John Alford on. He was the main guest. I just came on at the end and whipped up a creme caramel. Uh, creme win, caramel. win, lose or draw? Yeah, but I was a contestant on that. I won £80. The, the lottery show? Yeah, in the audience. And now uh, you're on this? Yeah, BBC though. UK play. <laughs> Have you no shame? Mm. Well, they said there'd be a cup of tea and a biscuit for me when we finished. Tell me about Wham, George. Uh, it's a kind of fizzy pink confectionery, retails for about 10p. It's quite chewy and it gets stuck in your teeth. Um, I don't really, don't really see the relevance. I meant, to, I meant Wham, the band that you used to be in. Oh, Wham! Yeah, wow, yeah, Wham, yeah. Do you still see much of, uh, of Andrew? Uh, not as much as I'd like to. You know, it's very difficult, I'm very busy kind of making solo albums and tours and TV. And, um, it's very difficult to find the time. Right, because I've often wondered and, what uh, he's doing now. I think, I think Andrew, Andrew made a decision at the back end of the 80s to kind of move on, to kind of leave Wham where it was. Hi, and, guys. Uh, to... <laughs> you didn't tell me Andrew was coming. I didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I've never turned up. I had to, uh, had to catch the bus. <laughs> we can't stop long. We've got to go off and rehearse a dance routine with uh, Pepsi and Shirley. Oh, and Georgius, I thought of a title for the new album. I think we should call it Wiki! Oh, so you'll be working together again as, as Wham? No. Yeah, no, of course. I know, I, know, I know it's been a while since the last album. You know, we'd better get a move on. People are going to start thinking we've split up. Andrew. Um, <laughs> now I can we... stop leaving all those messages in your answer phone. <laughs> Can't keep us two apart. We're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> So, um, um, George, what are your plans now for the future? Well, we've got a, a very, very uh, busy week ahead. Um, Saturday, Superstore tomorrow. Then we're doing, ooh, Gary Davis. 
And we're also going to be on the tube, which is on Channel 4, which is that new channel. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, I don't think I'm going to be available, Andrew. I'm not going to be. Well, I've been carrying you for too long. Pepsi was saying this only the other day. You know, doing all this stuff on my own makes me look like a complete pranet, pardon my French. Well, I'm sorry I haven't been around. I've been very busy in the studio. Yeah, so you keep on saying, when are we going to hear some of this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't have missed it, can you? I mean, George has had some pretty successful solo singles, you know. Well, like Careless Whispers. That won't get you on the cover of looking. You stick with me, kid. I'll see you all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick all over Nick Kershaw's head. And he's not a big man, he's a little fella. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, listen, please, thank you for joining us. And, uh, and good luck with, with anything you'll be doing in the future. Um, George, now listen, tell us more about your solo tour. Oh, sorry, is that, is that the time? We, we've got to be going. I'm really quite bored now and you, your voice does great on my ears. Yeah, we're going to go and meet Pepsi and Shirley in ten minutes. I'm not coming. George's? It's a double date. I booked us a table at the Video Cafe, and we've all got a ticket to see Crocodile Dundee. I told you I'm not coming. Or oh, Pepsi's going to be very upset. Look, I don't like Pepsi in that way. Oh, <laughs> he likes Shirley, naughty. All right, then, let's swap. I'll marry Pepsi, and you can marry Shirley. We'll tell him later. Look, Andrew, I don't like women. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're gay. <laughs> yes, I'm gay. No, he's not. <laughs> Don't ruin it for me. But I'm gay, Andrew. Just deal with it. <laughs> no, he's not always the joker. <laughs> he's not a queer. You're not queer. <laughs> and uh, me and uh, Pat Sharp and Gaz Top all ended up outside Stringfellows. And they weren't going to let us in. And so I said, don't you know who I am? I'm Andy Ridgely from Wham! What's the matter with you, you freak? Wham finished years ago. Get over it. Sheesh. Put him right, mate. No, it did. Look, do you remember that big concert Wham did at Wembley Stadium? Yeah. Right, what was it called? The Final. And why do you think it was called The Final? Because it was the final time we wore espadrilles on stage. <sighs> it was called The Final because it was the final thing Wham were ever going to do. After that, we split. <laughs> no, after that, we released an album. Also called The Final. Right. Because it was our final album. Right. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? That Wham, Wham is over! Yes, it will be over if you carry on talking to me like that. Got a good mind to get up and walk out that door and never come back. How do you like that idea? Very much. I'd like it very much also, actually. Well, I'm not going to be so selfish. And as for you, you're no Nino Ferretto. I'm going to warn people about you and be surprised if the likes of Musical Youth and Shack Attack and Five Star all say, no, thank you. I don't want to appear on Jamie Thaxton's show. I've heard he's a Wally. Now, oh, f*** off back to obscurity where you belong. Let's go outside. Actually, can we go outside? I'm, actually quite, I'm quite tired. Is that all right? Yeah, good, thanks.